heard from these federal officials urging folks to get prepared, and what they need you to do is heed that warning. In fact, schools and businesses in the country need to get ready as well. Seven News reporter Melanie Palmer is here with us now on how people should prepare. Melanie. Gordon, a truly stark warning from the CDC. They said it's not so much of a question of if this spread of the coronavirus will happen here, but of when. Now, I spoke with officials at the GSP airport along with some local universities who tell us they are already prepared. It's getting a little bit more scary. You know, I'm wanting to take precautions, maybe wear a mask and gloves on the plane now. A concerned traveler in baggage claim. James Hammonds and his friend Michael James spend a lot of time in the sky. They're traveling carpenters. If it's a United States state, we'll be there. But even though they're used to riding thousands of feet in the air, they're a little on edge right now. Does it freak you out? Or? Yeah. But Tom Tyree with the Greenville Spartanburg International Airport yeah. tells us everything is business as usual, at least in their terminal. That's because a lot of their international flights make a pit stop before coming here. There's nothing, nothing special because of the coronavirus that's in place right now because we really don't have nonstop flights to Asian destinations. But Ty Ray says there is an emergency plan in place in case it's ever needed. And over at Bon Secours St. Francis, they're keeping a close eye on the virus as well and claim they're not taking it lightly. Any patient presenting to the emergency department with any sort of viral symptoms are asked specific questions about travel history. And if they meet certain criteria, which we consider to be high risk for potential exposure, they're placed in uh, a mask for respiratory precautions and in a negative pressure room until we can investigate further. In the meantime, the CDC urges you to take everyday preventive actions to stop the spread of germs. And that's exactly what frequent travelers like Robin Alexander Hattrick tells us they'll be doing until the threat is gone. And just be smart, hand sanitizer, all the usual stuff. Do all the things your mom tell you. We reached out to some large employers in the upstate to see how they're prepping for the possibility of the coronavirus here. An official with Bosch sent us a statement. It says in part they are constantly evaluating any updates on the situation. They have various scenarios at their fingertips and are preparing accordingly. Also, officials with the Spartanburg Regional Health System told us they, too, are keeping a close eye on everything and referred us to DHEC, who says they're not taking any additional action at this time. Gordon. Melanie, thank you. We did talk to folks over at Wofford and Clemson. They've got international students. They say they are also continuing to monitor the spread of the virus.